vile serikali hii inawajali serikali inajikaza serikali hata hatutafika ofisi miaka mo, mwaka moja watu wengine wanatupikia kelele na fitina hatutafika wania wania hao wote waliwacha mabarabara haijajengwa waliwacha deni ya 700 billion ya mabarabara waliwacha madeni ya maji hata itare damu ambayo ingejengwa wakawacha vitu mingi ambayo hawakufanya alafu wamepinduka ni kama malaika wametoka mbinguni sasa hao wanatupatia lecture sasa huyu mzee anatupatia maandamano saa hii siku ile miaka tano tulikuwa tunamwambia aende ufanye kazi yako ya opposition kwa bunge hako anafanya maandamano ati oh, eh, mimi na eh, tunajua tunajua miaka tano umeisha sasa ndio amekutuka ameona bei ya maisha imeenda juu na hako anaona jana ni kwa nini si pesa hii hii sio maisha ya mwananchi anataka hapana huyu mtu anataka ka kitu na ataka, aj, ajui atasema aje kwa sababu tulimwambia mapema tunajua wewe ukishinda utaomba ka kitu hii ka kitu sasa wewe kuria ni unajua siongee mambo mingi siku hizi nimwambia waza waziri lakini hii ka kitu hii mtu anatafuta kama angekuwa anatafuta ya kukula yeye na watoto wake mngeangalia lakini mwaona anataka kuchanganya serikali tena. Yeye mnataka tuingie serikali ya handshake. Tuambe ile mzunguko tena ya miaka mitano. Sasa hii maandamano yote na watu kuawa na kufanya nini? Hii yote ni kutafuta mtu kutafutia mtu kazi na mawaziri wake wawili watatu. Na tumesema if it was really genuinely about the people this man would have come to parliament he would have gone to the dialogue in the committee that we put in place hiyo vitu ingekokoa sasa amesahau ibc amesahau ile vitu alikuwa anasema saba amesahau sijui nini akipata kitu yote tu hata saa hizi apite hapa asikie kulikuwa na mkutano ya boda boda sema haya tunaandamana kwa sababu ya boda boda eh amesahau kuna kitu alikuwa anatafuta anaitwa saba so he is an monstrous and we want to tell rail odinga Time has come. Time has come for you to make a decision whether you truly want to lead a honest opposition politics or you want to put our country into war and anarchy. Now also, time has come for President Ruto to now stand up and be the president. Ama namna gani? Wakenya wangu wamejiuliza, huyu mtu ameenda kuvunja. Nikiona jana watu wananiambia nini? Huyu ameenda kufunja mawaya na ma control room ya expressway na kuchoma barabara. Alafu ana hata pika mpaka maua. Alafu sasa akaenda hapo kwa kwa railway, ameenda kwa choo, amegongogonga the old toilets hata ile ya kukalea amegonga. Mimi kashindwa. Hii bei ya unga iko kwa hii toilet hii yenye huyu mtu anabomoa. How is it related to the equipment in yametoka huko China? Alafu jana wananiambia ati wewe oh, ati Kipchumba amesema ati bei pesa yenye tutalipa ni mingi ni 5 billion dollars 5 million dollars alijuaje? Mimi namwambia wewe mwizi unakuja kupomoa na kuvunja vuja alafu unaanza kusema haikuwa expensive sana. Wewe unajua ilikuwa wewe unajua expensive. Mtu mwenye anapika mpaka anapika choo yenye wananchi wanatumia yote. Wewe mtu kichwa yake ni mzuri kweli? kama yeye anatafuta kupunguza bei ya mafuta how is destroying expressway related to reducing cost of living how is destroying toilets in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a railway station related to reducing uh, bei ya unga how is robbing women who are selling their goods in market inahusiana kaje na bei ya unga hapana tusindanganyane this is anarchy this is domestic terrorism instilling fear on the people of Kenya but we want to tell them fear is gone we are free and we will face them face to face na mimi nakwambia wewe ajipange mimi naenda kotini next week hiyo wali wote wenye waligonga gonga barabara yetu ya expressway na wakaenda railway station wakavunja na wale wote mnachoma tires kwa barabara you will pay with your personal money we will make sure that we hold you to account And I want to ask the judiciary not to legitimize anarchy in the name of freedom of expression. As a minister in charge of infrastructure, I will do everything humanly possible to defend the infrastructure of the people of Kenya 
paying with taxpayer money because we cannot allow our country to go back to anarchy every year to repair roads and institutions that have been destroyed by people who do not understand the pain of spending taxpayer money to build infrastructure. Amo mna zema jawa tu amolo. Yeye kana sisi mengi amajengi ya. Apana apana. Uyu mtu anatuana. Hey, ala. Apana. We cannot have a country that is like this. Tunajaribu kutafutia vijana wetu kazi. Hii barabara ya Rironi Mausami kutoka huko Mausami e Rironi mpaka hapo Mausami. Tunajaribu kutengeneza ile dual carriage. Ndio wakati inajengwa kutoka hapo mpaka Nakuru nyinyi mpate kazi. Alafu mtu mwingine anakuja kutupatia kitenda wili. Bado kitenda wili. Hapana. We must think about making our country a better place. Kwa hivyo mimi ninawashukuru, ninawapenda, nyinyi nawaomba tu tushikane pamoja. Mimi ni waziri wa boda boda na napenda wa boda boda wote. Tumakubaliana ngao hapo? Sasa mnaleta vitu vingine zijue jamani na marani.